Welcome back to the Silver Howler. I hope all of you are doing well. Here are five more edible mushrooms that are easy to identify from around the world. But if you are new, please like and subscribe to this channel and comment and share this video with others. And you could win a free Niffler teddy bear from Fantastic Beasts. This ends on December 20th. Now, back to the fungi. Number one, chanterelles. Chanterelles are an amazing mushroom and they taste magnificent. They are native to North and South America, Eurasia, and Africa. They grow in mountainous birch forests and they are also a type of mycorrhizal fungi. That means that you can't grow them in captivity because they have to be connected to some sort of plant, usually a tree, to fruit. Also, they both benefit from each other. One thing that you need to look out for is their gills. They have more forked bumps for gills instead of actual gills. The reason is because there are two mushrooms called jack-o'-lantern and false chanterelle mushrooms. They are poisonous, but if you look at the gills, then you will know for sure. Number two, the lobster mushroom. These fungi are located in New England and on the west coast of the US and Canada. They grow under a good variety of trees, but most commonly hemlocks. They are not an actual mushroom, but are a type of fungus that takes certain types of mushrooms as hosts by engulfing them entirely. They are unmistakable to identify once you see one. Why they are called lobster mushrooms is because they have a hard red exterior and a soft white interior that resembles a lobster. The best thing is that they don't have any lookalikes. Number three, belete mushrooms. The belete mushrooms are a fleshy, more plump fungus. Instead of gills, they have pores, which the spores are released. They are very fun to find, and most of them are edible. None are completely lethal unless you have allergies but they do cause a lot of pain with the poisonous ones. One way to tell if they are poisonous is if they bruise blue. Not all that bruise blue are poisonous or toxic, but most are. One of the most common ones harvested is the king bolete, aka you know, also known as seps or other names, or porcinis. They are one of the biggest, meatiest of the family. They are located throughout America, such as the US and Canada, and possibly other parts of the world. They also can't be homegrown unless they're in your backyard, because they are another type of mycorrhizal fungi. Talk about a beautiful, tasty mushroom. Number four, the cauliflower mushroom. These fungi are easy to identify and are said to have a texture of lasagna noodles. And, of course, need to be cooked as do all fungi. They go well with eggs, soups, and other dishes. Number five, the morel mushroom. These mushrooms look unlike any other mushroom and are highly favored by fungal consumers. They have a honeycomb-like cap and are hollow all the way through. They may be confused with another mushroom called the false morel. They don't look a ton like each other, but they are similar to the structure, but are not hollow if you cut them open. They are difficult to grow in captivity, and they also are some of the first things that grow after a fire has taken place in the forest. Here are five more edible mushrooms or fungi that are easy to identify. Have you seen any of these mushrooms growing around in your backyard, where you live, hiking around in that wilderness? If so, what ones? And did you eat them? How, how did they taste? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you have enjoyed this video, and if there is anything I can do better in my videos, please let me know. May nature always be on your side, and have a great day!